it was only a matter of time before I got to talk about my favorite singer possibly ever. Like, Avril Lavigne is it, honestly my favorite singer. Like, right now, I'm kind of recent, re, recent biased to, to Taylor Swift because of her whole Renaissance album stuff. But, like, Avril Lavigne is probably my favorite. I wouldn't put her on the celebrity crush list because I found out she's, like, twice my age. But, um... If it wasn't for that, then she'd definitely be on the list. Honestly, so I have 10 songs here, and I could have picked 30, okay? she She's so amazing, and I love her so much. It, it's so hard to pick 10 songs by life. So these aren't even just the best songs. These are just the songs that relate to me that I grew up listening to, because she's freaking amazing. So number 10, we have Hello Heartache. I uh, found this one three years ago when my friend was dancing to it in the talent show, and I instantly fell in love with it. It is so good. I love it. We have My Happy Ending, just one of those nostalgia songs I grew up listening to. Probably one of the first songs that she made that I, well, that I found that she made that I really enjoyed listening to when I was younger. Innocent is number eight. Pretty sounding piano ballad song. It's, it's not bad. I, I like it. It's one of my favorite. We have Here to Never Growing Up. This one, I never missed out a song. Grew up listening to it. Uh, my friends and I talk about it all the time how oh, we were too young to be singing that song. Yeah, this is, this is the song for me. Talking about running down the street saying kiss my ass or uh, what was the line? They, uh, they say just grow up but they don't know us. We don't give a fuck and we're never gonna change. Probably shouldn't have been shouting at it like 13, 14 years old but you know that, that was me. We have Push at number 6 I don't think this song is played nearly enough. Uh, I don't know if very many people heard it. It's not all over the place by Skater Boy and Complicated and Girlfriend, but I, I really like Push. It's not bad. We have Losing Grip, uh, one of the songs from her first album in 2002. Crazy that that album came out in June of 2002, and I was born October 2002, so these songs are which you older than me, and I love them. So Losing Grip is number five, and I... I absolutely love this song. This song is great. We have When You're Gone at number four. This, like, this and Innocent, they aren't on the same album, I don't think, but they should be. It's like, I can't listen to one without listening to the other. They're both so freaking good. I love When You're Gone more, though. We have Darwin, another, I think, underrated song, just like Push, not nearly played enough. I uh, don't know how many people have heard it, but, you know, Darwin is is freaking great we have together at number two and i already liked this song before but like a few minutes ago when i was listening to all the songs to put them in the proper order i haven't heard this song in years so when i listen to it it is fire oh it's great i love together it's so good but number one undisputedly uh my most underrated song ever we have nobody's home and it's so great i love nobody's home so much uh, if anyone was curious, my favorite album is, is uh, Under My Skin. So, that, that, yeah, that's Avril Lavigne. Those are my top 10 favorite Avril Lavigne songs. It got to the point where uh, I think Alyssa will remember this. One time we were in English class, I was supposed to be listening to uh, A Christmas Carol, and I was listening to Avril Lavigne. That's how kind of obsessed I am with this girl. Okay, so, yeah, that, that's Avril Lavigne for you.